Amelia's Child, A Haunting Legacy. The old house stood sentinel on the hill, its silhouette against the bruised sky, a constant reminder of the tragedy that had befallen its inhabitants. It was a story whispered in hushed tones, a local legend that chilled the blood even on the warmest summer days. As a child, I would listen, wide-eyed and breathless, as my grandmother recounted the tale. Now, years later, I stood within those very walls, the weight of history pressing down on me like a physical force. My grandmother, a woman with an uncanny connection to the past, had insisted I purchase the house. It needs your help, she'd said, her voice raspy with age, to find peace. Her words, though cryptic, held a strange conviction that made me unable to refuse. The house was a relic of a bygone era, its grandeur now faded and chipped. Dust lay thick on the mahogany furniture. Cobwebs draped the grand chandeliers, and a pervasive sense of loneliness hung heavy in the air. On the first night, I woke to the sound of soft, mournful cries. They seemed to come from the nursery, a room shrouded in darkness and the scent of lavender. Ignoring the prickling sensation at the back of my neck, I ventured into the room, my breath catching in my throat at the sight. A rocking horse, its paint chipped and faded, swayed back and forth, its wooden legs clicking against the floorboards. The rocking was slow, measured and deliberate, as if a ghost lingered, rocking a child to sleep. I tried to rationalize the sound, attributing it to the wind, but the feeling of being watched, of being observed by something unseen, intensified. That night, the house felt alive, the silence a tangible presence. In the days that followed, the scratching sounds grew louder, and the rocking horse seemed to sway with a more insistent rhythm. I found a tattered old diary in the attic, its pages filled with the frantic handwriting of a young woman. Her name was Amelia, and her entries chronicled a life of quiet despair. She spoke of a husband who had become distant, of a child who never smiled, and of a growing fear that consumed her. As I read, the air grew colder, the scent of lavender overpowering, and I felt a presence beside me its gaze cold and penetrating. The diary ended abruptly, the last entry a jumbled mess of incoherent scribbles. He took her, it read. He took my baby. He took my little girl. They're gone, both of them, gone forever. The words reverberated in my mind, sending chills down my spine. One night, the sound of the rocking horse was deafening, the rhythmic clicking a relentless beat against the silence. The scent of lavender filled the air, thick and stifling. I went to the nursery, a wave of fear washing over me. The rocking horse was still, but the air crackled with an unseen energy, a presence so palpable I could almost feel it. Then I saw her. In the faint moonlight that filtered through the dusty window, a small figure appeared. Her hair was long and dark, her eyes empty pools of black. She was wearing a white dress, stained with what looked like red wine, and her face was a tableau of frozen terror. She looked at me, her expression unreadable, and then she vanished. I fled the house, my heart pounding in my chest, the chilling image of the ghostly child seared into my memory. I never went back. The old house on the hill remained, a silent sentinel guarding its secrets, a constant reminder of the tragedy a tale forever etched in my memory. I never knew what became of Amelia and her child, but I knew they were trapped in that house, their spirits unable to find peace. And I knew, with a certainty that chilled me to the bone, that the rocking horse would continue its relentless rocking, a testament to their suffering, a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurked within the old house on the hill. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers 
and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.